The group security program allows you to define security settings for a specific group of users using one group ID code, then apply those security settings to individual user IDs, as opposed to having to set them on a user-by-user -user basis. Group security is useful for large clubs that have many staff in clearly defined roles. For example, all POS servers have exactly the same menu access, and all POS supervisors have a common set of rights. Changes made to the group security ID will be reflected in all the user IDs that are connected to it. To access the group security program, navigate to Administration, User Management, and Group Security. It may be helpful to start with the least restricted group. Then you can Save As to create a copy of that group and add additional restrictions for other groups, adding as many groups as you need. For example, the groups you see on screen here. To create a new group security ID, select Add Another Group, or select an existing group ID to make edits to it. This screen is very similar to the User Administration screen minus the individual user ID fields. If this is a new group, make sure to define a group ID. And go ahead and enter a description. Then you can assign a job slash function code if applicable. If this is a new group, click OK to create the group before modifications to the buttons on the right can be made. The two main buttons on the right that are most commonly used are Menu Design, which allows you to control what menus this group ID has access to. By default, access will be granted to all available menus. Unselect any menus and submenus that should not be accessible. If access is removed for the menu, the group ID will not have access to any of its submenus. Then click OK to save. The other button you might use is POS Access, where you can specify what PO access this group ID has access to by flagging the applicable fields. Depending on the modules your club has and what modules this group ID will have access to, you can use Club Inventory, club management, tea time management, and banquet and catering to flag which settings can be used slash are accessible for that specific module by this group ID. If the group ID is to be used for accounting, for example, some other buttons that might be handy include user options, which provides a list of settings applicable to the user's experience across Jonas. Button security allows you to turn off access to buttons in some programs. So for example, you can allow access to screens like setup slash edit members, but not allow for the access of any additional areas in the member file. And field level security. Similar to button security, but allows you to turn off access to specific fields, either viewing or editing in some programs. For example, you can allow access to screens like maintain employees, but not allow for changes to any data or for the addition of new employee records. When you are finished configuring the group ID, click OK to save. Now that you have your group security ID, you can apply it to the individual user IDs. To do so, navigate to Administration, User Management, and User Administration. Select the user, then use the group ID field and your F2 lookup list to assign the group security ID. Certain changes to an individual user ID can still be made in the user options screen. Any of the options that are grayed out mean we cannot update those, and those are controlled by the group ID. The fields that we can edit are preserved for being filled in slash selected at the user ID level rather than the group ID level as they can vary from user to user. Note that all bookmarks and favorites will be removed for the user ID when you confirm the group ID. The bookmarks slash favorites will need to be recreated for the user ID, but will be limited to the remaining functions they have based on the group ID. You can assign specific users to be responsible for specific group IDs. To do so, select the Group Security Access button and select which group IDs this user is responsible for. Then. Click OK to save.